Do you know, most businesses miss out on connecting the products that they sell in their shops and online with selling products through Google My Business. And most business owners don't realize it just takes 30 seconds to take one of your products and to add it to Google My Business products. And what's more is that product, when it's shown on Google My Business, can then take a visitor straight to your shopping cart with that particular product ready to go in your basket. Now that is going to help solve your selling problems if you're a business selling products. Think how many opportunities this is going to give buyers a chance to buy your products. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have products on Google My Business so they're sold and they go straight into your shopping cart on your website. I'm also gonna point out some tips that you may not have come across, some ways in which you can integrate keywords so that you get found more often in Google My Business results, and also explain why it is that you might not have products on your Google My Business listing. So today's video is a really important video right at the end of our 30 day challenge because this one is gonna help you sell more products. So before we start, it's important to just make sure that first of all, you've subscribed to this channel because you'll know by now, if you've seen a few of these videos, that you'll get a constant help in making your business work on Google My Business. Now here's the first tip to bear in mind that you may look on your Google My Business listing and find that products don't exist. A few years ago, they used to exist as a particular type of post. So with posts, you have offer posts, you have a what's new post, you have a recently a COVID update post, and it used to be that products were just a post. Well, since then, they've now got their own separate area too because Google wants you to start promoting your products. And this is why this is such an important part of your optimization of your Google My Business listing, because products is now going to start to get rewarded by Google. Another amazing thing is that Google also will give you an opportunity to have categories within products. Now, the difficulties at the moment is that Google currently isn't showing this. So products themselves and the categories that we're going to talk about today, they, at the moment, the experiment is that they're not being shown. Now, just to make this clear, Google My Business keeps changing the knowledge panel. So you've seen in previous videos that what's being shown today is changing tomorrow. But the fact is you still have to have the products there ready to go so that when they do decide to show products again, your products are gonna to go to the fore. So I can show you on a previous video I made just a few months ago how products looked. And if you look here, you'll see there's categories, you see on this flower shop, there's various things there that you can see that show that those flowers can be found. Of course, as you can see now, it's no longer available, but that doesn't mean it won't be next month. Now, here's another simple tip if you're into products, is when you've uploaded a product, try and get it so it's got some type of branding on it too. That will help again with the algorithm and building up that trust, seeing that you've got that uh, branding on your product will help as well give a consistency. In fact, it makes the products set aside themselves from the just general photos. And there's another tip as well, is don't delete it because when you go into photos, you'll see your products are there too. Now, if you go in and delete them thinking you don't want them in photos, you'll find that will remove your product. So the product photo when it's uploaded to products sits in your gallery or sits in your photo area, but you need to let it sit there because that is your online version of that photo. So at this point, here's a few questions to just consider for your business. Firstly, do you have products that you could package up? Now, you might want to do this for time products. It could be that you're a service and you sell your time in service bundles. So for example, say you're a personal trainer, you might uh, do it on an hourly basis, but you might say if you buy 10 hours, you get two free. Well, that is a product in itself. You can make a little box, a little package. You could put, this is known as the, the silver package. The gold package is if you buy 20 hours, you get five free. The platinum one, if you buy 50 hours, you get 10 free. You can work out what works for you. And the fact is, is time is also a product. Second thing is, could you animate your product? Now that was a nice little tip that Luke Durand came up with a few months ago in one of his videos. I then show you how to do it because I think you should go over to see his video. But simply put, if you have an animated GIF, you can rename it as a JPEG. And for some reason, on products only, animations work. So I think it has to be quite a small file size. You don't want it to last too long. But as you can see here, I've got the animation of my particular logo working and that shouldn't work. You don't normally have uh, animated JPEGs, that, that doesn't exist. 
but by renaming the animated GIF, so the GIF at the end of the file name, as JPG, for some reason, Google allows for that. So it kind of reads it as an animated GIF, even though animated GIFs aren't allowed to be uploaded. And finally, is there a way of tracking what happens through your products? So someone clicks on a product, they then go through to your shop with the product. Do they put it in your cart? Does it succeed? Do they end up making a purchase? Well, the way to find out on that is to do UTM tracking. If you want to know how to do UTM tracking, then here's a video and a tutorial that I'll put in a link down below that will show you exactly how to do that. And I'll show you how you can then use analytics to understand whether or not they made that purchase when they came through the products on Google My Business. And so having an animated GIF, for example, makes you stand out. And that is half the problem is you have to stand out and not only stand out, but then people have to believe that your product is worth purchasing. I mean, people build up trust in say Amazon because they read reviews and they then see those reviews say it's trustworthy, but they're starting all again when they do it through your shop and your products, because if they don't know your business or your company, it means they've got to show a leap of faith, a leap of trust. And that really reminds me in many ways of what was said by Ashton Kutchta. He said, in e-commerce, your prices have to be better because the consumer has to take a leap of faith in your product. And that's probably the only way you can start out in a business is to stand out by being cheaper and having a really good pricing range on your products. And of course, once people then start to build up trust, you get better ratings, you get better testimonials, you get better ratings through Google too. And then in time, trust is built up and you can put the prices up to reflect the fact that you have that authority. Let's look at some examples then of how you can put these products and also get some ideas of how the products work. So here, first of all, I've just logged into one of my businesses. You'll just see here, it's got uh, a little bit of traffic coming through, but we haven't put products on here. Products are found on the left-hand side. If you haven't got products here, it's because the category that you're chosen hasn't obviously got products connected to it. It's not every category will have products connected to it. But in this case it does. And it's saying here to get started, you click here, 690 potential customers viewed your business, but of course you haven't showcased your products. Well, at the moment products aren't showing anyway, so that's not relevant. But if you click get started, it just takes you straight in to then how you do your products. And on here, you'll see you select a photo, give it a product name, create a new category, which I'm gonna show you in a moment why that's important, the product category and then you can put a price, or if you want, you can have a price range, so there's a minimum and maximum, a product description, and then a button, and often with the button, it'll be a case of ordering online as the one I put, because you can then put it straight through to your, your shopping cart uh, on your website, if you've got uh, a website shopping cart. So I've done this with LaRue Window Cleaning. Uh, if you followed my videos, this was a few months ago. Um, so we've made a window cleaning into a package so we've done a commercial package and a UPVC cleaning, and then we've done it under commercial and residential. So at the moment, this was just a very basic one, but if we go into here, you'll see we've got the photo, we've got a select category, so there's two categories. But the idea of these categories is just to help when it comes to keyword research. So if someone's putting in commercial window cleaning, it just helps them to find it as well. And then you put some description, and in this case, it just went straight through. Does it? He doesn't have a shopping cart, so it just goes straight through to his business. And again, you can see here, these are types of products. So this is more for a, a skincare products. And uh, again, if that's what you've got online, you can just sell these direct. And if you then click, or if they click on these, obviously it then shows. What this could be do, these could be categorized, something to consider uh, as an update for that business. So on my website here, I've got a couple of packages this one's about managing everything, Google uh, My Business Management Solutions I offer. And this one's about uh, people doing it on themselves with four levels as well. So these are kind of some products. I haven't got a shopping cart. I've not integrated a shopping cart, but I can reflect these products by going into my Google My Business. And you'll see like these two here reflect uh, and will go through to those relevant pages uh, here. So that's how it works. You really just need to look at your website think what packages have I got, and then how can I upload it? And that's what I've got here. So there's the animated GIF. So what this is here is it's uh, down as a JPEG, or it's up uploaded as a JPEG, but it's actually an animated GIF. So let's say for instance, I own this website, which I don't, but if I did, and these were 
um, some products I was selling, then how would I fill out that uh, Google My Business? So if I go to here, how would I fill this out? Well, I'm looking for basically a product name, a category and so on. And so you'll find on your website, you've probably already got things categorized. So if I click on here, uh, so this product, the Twig Kit, so that would be the product name, um, but I would probably have it under um, male, um, male razors or female razors or whatever it is that, that the categories would be. This would probably end up being my description. Maybe I'd include some of this as well. Um, I've got the image as well, which I'd include. And then you would take the URL at the top and that would be where you then put the link through. So for someone then clicking on here, it would take them straight through. So that, that's what you want. You want to be able to you want to be able to get them to go straight through. The price, obviously, again, I'll take the price from there. And literally filling this in is just a case of copying and pasting the information you've already got. So you've got the price, you've got the name, you've got the description. Um, and you might want them to come to this page so they can add a quantity as well before they add it to their cart. Obviously, once they add it to the cart, they would then need, to, they're on your website now, and then they just need to set up an account and so on. And that's pretty much how it would work. Just wanted to show you this video briefly, if I just um, mute this. This was a video that I did just a few months back. Most of the websites at that time had products as well. And there's the categories. So it just gives you a chance to see what I'm referring to. And they had the questions and answers in those days. So that was an interesting uh, time. If I come out of that video, which um, you can go to afterwards, and uh, if I go into Flower Shops now, you'll see that they've got the photos They've got the questions and answers, but there's nothing there now. If I go through any of these, this was one of the ones that was on that review, Christchurch Florist. You'll see that none of them now have the products at the moment. So a little bit difficult to show you how it works when they're not live any longer. But when you put that link, so on here, when you add the, say, get offer, when you add the link to the button, you can add a couple of strings in there as well. And the way you can do that is you go to this, uh, Builder, this Google UTM Builder extension, which again is free, which I'll put a link to down below. And that will just help you build up the right um, URL so that you can then track it in your Google Analytics. So you certainly want to think about your products and put them into Google My Business through the product post, as I've just shown you there. Why? Well, because you've now got it into Google's algorithm you've also got it into its database and now google knows about your products now if you've got a thousand products that might take quite a bit of effort of getting them into its database but think about your big selling products think about the things that people just want to know about and get those up and running on google my business products so that the next time google then does an update and start showing products from knowledge panel you'll be ready to go google knows about those products and then they'll be sending traffic your way so that people can start to make purchases through your e-commerce shop and your basket. And if you want more inspiration, you could always look at what your competitors are doing, see if any of your competitors are using products. If they're using them, then you might just get some inspiration as to how they're selling their products. So what are you going to do today? Well, you're going to check first of all, does your category allow for products? If it does, you need to get some products on board. Secondly, don't add products and then just take them through to your homepage because they've already made an interest or a purchase interest on a product and then they're having to find the product all again. So take them straight to the landing page of where they can add that product to their cart. At least do that. And then finally, use the UTM. Understand how the UTM tracking works. So if you've got Google Analytics, you'll see the power of why that's an important link because it tells you how many people have actually converted and made a payment using the Google My Business product. And you may be surprised that it doubles, triples your sales overnight once you start to see or get shown in Google My Business listings. And finally, just think in terms of keywords and maximize those four category buttons. Because again, if you don't do that, they won't appear. If you do use all four category buttons, that's just a bit more real estate a bit more opportunity for Google to put business your way. Now, tomorrow is the end of the 30 day challenge. And tomorrow is gonna to be quite special because I'm going to give you 13 tips of what you need to rethink about from what we've learned together. And also I'm gonna look at some of your questions and I'm also gonna to review to see if it's had any effect on your businesses too. So I'll see you tomorrow.